Morning. I guess it's good morning. Um, this, uh, my name is Glenn Adams, uh, Chairman of the Cumberland County Board of Commissioners. I have with me Vice Chairman Charles Evans is here and Commissioner Lancaster. And uh, as we get ready to uh, reach the retirement of one of the stalwarts of this community, uh, we just wanted to take a moment uh, on the eve of his retirement uh, the Board of Commissioners of Cumberland County would like to thank uh, Sheriff Butler. Come on up, Sheriff Butler, uh, for his 22 years of service to the citizens of uh, Cumberland County. I personally, myself, want to thank you because when I got here uh, years ago, you were head of probation right, and right. became uh, the sheriff. But I personally want to thank you, and on behalf of uh, Cumberland County and the Board of Commissioners, thank you for. Uh, leading the law enforcement efforts for more than 600 men and women who work for the Sheriff's Department, and you've led them in exemplary fashion. But you know, uh, I think one of the things that stands out, and it stands out for me, is under your leadership, the Sheriff's Office re received the international accreditation through the Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies consistently since 1998. And I think that was one of the first ones in the state of North Carolina, if not the first one here in, in uh, North Carolina. So we've been blessed here in Cumberland County to have you as our sheriff, and we wish you and your family all the best. I'll give you a moment to say a couple of words. To be very brief, I just want to say and thank the citizens of Cumberland County for allowing me for 22 years to serve as sheriff of this great county. And uh, we've seen a lot of changes. But I'm going to tell you, it's been a good working relationship with the commissioners over the years. We don't, we were not at each other, and I'm proud to say they're my friends. We didn't always agree on everything, but we were friends. It didn't change our feeling towards each other. So I'm, uh, I am happy to say it. I'm leaving office, but a man who's here with me today is a man of integrity. He's a leader. He's a true uh, person as far as dealing with people. He's a great individual. I know it personally. He is my closest friend. Thank you. And I again want to thank uh, Sheriff Butler. Thank you so very much for all that you've done for uh, this community. I know the children uh, for the uh, tours for Christmas, uh, they enjoyed it and they wanted to thank you for that. So we're going to transition. Uh, the transition now is that um, for the citizens of this community, I want to assure every citizen of Cumberland County that there will be a seamless transition of authority and the Sheriff's Office under the leadership come up chief uh, of the chief deputy in his right, will continue to operate smoothly, ensure the safety of our citizens during this holiday season. As you are aware, uh, Chief uh, Sheriff Butler, uh, his resignation is effective at midnight, December the 31st. Under the general statutes of North Carolina, if there is not a sheriff, there's a vacancy in the sheriff's office, the chief deputy assumes the duties of the sheriff for Cumberland County. So 1201 uh, Sunday night, uh, Chief Deputy Ennis Wright assumes the duties of Sheriff of Cumberland County. We understand that uh, we want the citizens of this community to know you're still protected, the deputies will be on the road, and that this will be a safe and enjoyable holiday for all. It will be business as usual for the Sheriff's Department. We don't want anyone to think that there's not somebody in charge. Uh, he's been with uh, Sheriff Butler for many years. And, how many, 20? 20 years. And so he will be the chief deputy as assuming the duties until the appointment of a uh, new sheriff. So for right now, I'll let uh, Chief uh, Ennis Wright have a couple of words uh, for those uh, assumption of those duties. Good morning. Uh, as you say, I'm Chief Deputy Ennis Wright. Um, I want to, to remind the citizens that of Cumberland County here that they will receive the same professional law enforcement they have received under Sheriff Butler for 22 years. Uh, this weekend, they still receive the same service. Uh, at the same time, um, under the uh, leadership of Sheriff Butler, my phone has never been off. It never would go off. So you can always call. If you don't reach me, you reach the Sheriff's office. But feel assured and feel safe this weekend that the sheriff's office is, is going to the job. We're going to do what we do, and that's professional quality service to the citizens of Cumberland County. So uh, feel assured 
uh, this weekend. Uh, remember, uh, don't drink and drive. If you're going to drink, stay at home. If you drive and you're drinking, stop where you're at. Call someone. Or better yet, if you need to, you call down the sheriff's office. We'll take care of you. <laughs> I mean, I don't mean we go. I don't mean we go. We no, 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 no. I don't mean we go get you some place to stay. We gonna take care of you. <laughs> but again, but again, but again, I say, again, I say, citizens come to county, you'll save. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I think that's a change. Thank you, uh, Chief. It is right. Uh, I think. Um, uh, that uh, the Sheriff's Department has always been professional, will continue to be professional. So for those who uh, question what, uh, how the Board of Commissioners uh, have done this is that we've opened up for uh, applications and resumes for anyone who wanted to seek the vacancy uh, for the Sheriff of Cumberland County. Uh, we've received uh, 10 applications. You've uh, seen that from our public uh, information officer. Uh, it is the intent of the Cumberland County Board of Commissioners on uh, January 3rd, Tuesday, at our morning meeting uh, to fill the vacancy for uh, the Cumberland County Sheriff's Department. So, uh, so that everybody understands, we're here today to say there's a seamless transition for Sunday and Monday uh, and, and Tuesday until an appointment is made of the Chief Deputy assuming uh, the duties of the Sheriff of Cumberland County. I, too, want to wish all the citizens of this great community a very happy new year. Uh, I cannot uh, reiterate any more than uh, what the chief deputy said. If you drink and drive, stay home. If you drink and drive, drink. Uh, find somebody to uh, take you home. You got Uber. Uh, you got a taxi. And I think the sheriff's department said we'll try to get you home uh, safely without you driving. Please do not drink and drive in on the streets of Cumberland County. We want to a safe holiday. Enjoy yourselves, and I will open it up for some brief questions. No, did not. He will assume the duties of of the sheriff. He doesn't become sheriff. He assumes the duties of the sheriff pursuant to the statute until a, a sheriff is appointed. Well, you can call him interim sheriff. The statute says he assumes the duties, so he's chief deputy still, assuming the duties of the sheriff of Cumberland County. I have no idea. The Board of Commissioners will vote on Tuesday morning. It's seven members of that board. I have one vote. Everybody else has one vote. Uh, and at that point, um, if it's filled Tuesday or filled thereafter, it will be filled by a majority of the Board of Cumberland County Board of Commissioners. Uh, that's, uh, I'm reviewing documents. We got some in as early as uh, late as last week. Wednesday was the deadline. I'm, I'm reviewing all of that. We'll make my decision. Right, uh, right now, I'm leaning toward um, Chief Wright. Larry? I'm not leaning. I'm voting <laughs> for Ennis Wright. Okay, so you've got two votes now for sure. Any other questions? <laughs> Anybody got any other questions? <laughs> hey, any other questions? He's got sheriff's votes. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Anyone else have any other questions? If not, I want to thank you so very much for coming to uh, this press conference this morning. And if you have any questions, please free to uh, contact me. Thank you.